All right, so a lot of our concert tonight is uh, a lot of music that we performed in Pearl Harbor. We had an immense amount uh, of music to prepare for that performance. Uh, so I thought, what better way to kind of bring it into the classroom and to teach them some musical skills on jazz. And sometimes we don't always get a chance to do that in a regular classroom. We have an after school, a jazz ensemble that's run by Mr. Buckle. But it's been an awesome time because I wanted them to play traditional 1940s jazz music for that performance right in front of the USS Missouri. So we have a couple of charts that are kind of uh, jazzy. Um, our next piece is a Hanukkah celebration. I realize that Hanukkah is over, but uh, we, we would like to perform, you know, a typical Hanukkah piece uh, for this concert. So, here it is.
for that piece, any of you that know about music, it is incredibly difficult. It goes from crazy key change, and this is why we learn scales every day, even though the students are like, why do we have to learn our scales? Like, for this purpose, it goes from like six flats to three sharps, like immediately, it's a, an immediate change. So what they're doing up here, you might not realize, is extremely high level thinking and very analytical thinkers. So I, I'm very proud of where they've come. Uh, you know, just in this first semester, and we are super excited to uh, take them to another CJMEA, which is Central New Jersey Music Educators Association. They have a festival at Bridgewater Raritan, and actually we're going to combine both ensembles. We're going to have the entire wind ensemble plus the symphonic band play as one big band for that festival. Uh, that's on March 21st, if you want to mark your calendars, and I encourage all friends, family, everyone to come and watch them perform, because that is a very elite festival, and um, I'm looking forward to, to, to uh, taking them to that performance. Um, I would like to invite the symphonic band up here, and we're going to finish our program with all the bands united. Here we go. this ensemble we're going to do a quick tuning note and then we're going to be playing Armed Forces on Parade which is the parade tune that we play through the center of Honolulu um, for, on Pearl Harbor Day. Uh, so here we go.
two pieces, I'm going to have our drum majors conduct them because they conducted these two pieces while we were at Pearl Harbor. Uh, both pieces were performed in front of the USS Missouri, which was uh, hard to describe how that was like. I mean, the parents were up on top of the ship watching down as the students performed, which was incredible. Um, so we are going to be playing another 1940s uh, typical jazz tune called Harlem Nocturne.
I am still reminiscing about those days and I do wish we could have gone back. Um, such a wonderful uh, experience for the students and for myself to be a part of and I just thoroughly enjoyed watching them perform. Um, our next piece, uh, two pieces uh, for our ending here, are two holiday uh, pieces. I know this, this uh, winter concert is not our typical winter concert, but I really wanted to showcase what we did in Pearl Harbor because that was just such an incredible event that we were a part of. So our next piece is called Ancient Carol Various.
Many of you were at the Tuesday concert, yes? I think it was much improved since Tuesday. <laughs> we, have, we have worked on our trouble spots. You know, this is the first time that we're playing in the auditorium, uh, which is somewhat difficult. That's one of the, the bad parts, I guess, from being down at the GNC. We don't get to rehearse in the auditorium as frequently as what we used to. However, the GNC room is just so much bigger and it can accommodate us as a full band. So uh, yeah, they did a phenomenal job with that piece and I'm, I'm super proud of, uh, it's a, a very difficult piece to perform. Uh, for our final piece, uh, I have worked with Mr. Updegraff and he has done a phenomenal job working with me uh, to get a final piece with the band and the choir together. It's awesome to have the entire music program united here at Old Bridge High School. So I'd like to invite the choir to come on up. final piece is called Let There Be Peace on Earth. Um, I know that I sang this piece when I was in college, when I was in a vocal class, and it struck me as something very powerful. And uh, especially now, um, in the times that we live in, I, I believe that this piece is just very appropriate for our final piece tonight. Uh, so Mr. Updegraff is going to be conducting the choir. We're going to conduct them. It's the first time that we have performed in one big a uh, happy family of music here. So um, here we go, let there be peace on earth.
very, very powerful piece. I know that was awesome. That was, it gives me goosebumps every time I hear something like that with a big united group. Um, and the great part is that now me and Mr. Eltergram were in the same building, so I'm hoping to collaborate more and be able to do these types of things more often because it's very powerful when you get both groups together. Um, I just want to thank everyone for coming tonight. I always uh, am very appreciative to the administration for you know helping us out with whatever we need or if uh, you know rehearsals and students going back and forth from the GMT to the main building. It's, it's very um, convenient. They make everything accommodating for us. And uh, I know uh, someone from the board of ed was here. Sal Prima, is he still here? He had to step up, all right. But he is a huge advocate for the arts here at Old Bridge, and I am very thankful because there's very few events that he is not here supporting our group, um, and I am thankful for that. Um, again, Mr. Osterbrock, thank you so much for collaborating this, this year with us. And. I, I do my public service announcement every time that we, at the end of a con uh, concert, but it's really important, I'm, I'm talking primarily to students, but to you as parents, for them to stay active in this, because this is important for their overall growth, uh, academically and emotionally, and it, it's all combined. Uh, there's been so many research studies to prove that music makes both sides of your brain work together, and I teach uh, some of the brightest students at Old Bridge High School, and there can be, it, it cannot be um, a mystery as to why they're bright. I, I really, truly believe that music has had a role in them as people and them in their academics. I have so many students that are on high honor roll, they continue to strive for that, and it looks tremendous on a college application uh, because colleges assume that music students are the brightest, and it's true. It's absolutely true, without a doubt. So I have had the privilege and honor to working with all of you, and I just want to thank you for uh, dealing with me this last week. I, I've been pretty cool for the whole semester here, until this last week, maybe. Um, but the, the undertaking of putting something like this together, you guys have all helped me, and it's so many ways. So I want to thank you all for just coming to class every day and wanting to learn music and making it fun. And I just love my job coming every day to teach you. So I want you to know that. Um, and I see some alumni out there. Just stand up because I just I'm so happy to see you. Stand up. So thank you all. I hope you have a nice holiday. And there is a reception across the hall. We all bring uh, food and drink for every concert. And I hope you will all join us in celebrating this amazing night for them. So thank you so much.